Good morning and good rainy morning here at everybody. This weather was supposed to hold off, but my guess is it didn't. Am I right? Okay. Uh, I'm Mike DeBerardinas, a deputy mayor and commissioner of the Department of Parks and Recreation. And on behalf of the women and men of the department, I want to welcome everyone to the uh, ribbon cutting or the inauguration of the wheel will fund bike rentals here uh, at Lloyd Hall. So um, we are very excited about uh, this grand opening um, because I think it does a couple of things. It's important in that it provides a much needed service for visitors to the park. So if you come here and you don't have a bike but you want to experience the drives or you want to take a long bike ride up up the Schuylkill River, you can, do, you can do that now with this bike rental. So it provides a service. It connects people to this wonderful and ever-developing trail system uh, in, in our city and in the region. And it gives folks an opportunity who may not have a chance to experience this trail system a real opportunity to do, to do that. And finally, it generates, helps build the local economy and generate revenue for our department. So it's very, very exciting for us uh, to, to uh, have this event and to have Wheel Fund uh, as a concession partner with the department, We're an ever-growing uh, set of concessionaires. And the Cosmic Cafe is another one of those concessionaires that do. And they're, by the way, they're, they're catering this event. And if you haven't gotten over there to get some of the great food, quiche and fresh fruit and coffee and others, other things, uh, please, please do. Um, I, I want to mention just a few people in the department who work very hard on this with uh, Wheel Fund uh, to get this, bring this uh, concession to uh, the park, and that's uh, Ed Fagan, Bob Allen. Ed Fagan's over here. Bob Allen is, where's Bob? Bob's, Bob Allen and Mark Wilkin. Mark, I know I saw yours, Mark, over there looking dapper in his pink uh, uh, shirt, P pink purple. I don't know. It's kind of a nice color more for you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, they worked very hard with the Wheel Fund folks uh, to move this um, concession forward. Also, uh, uh, Mark Folk, who has led uh, overall, the first Deputy Commissioner for Parks and Recreation, worked with uh, Mark and Bob over the last few years to really advance our broad concessions in the park and to, and to uh, lead, help lead the department. He's not here. He's at another event. And also, I want to mention our uh, consistently fine partners uh, at the Fairmount Park Conservancy and with their fabulous executive director, Catherine Ott Lovell, who's really infused great life and energy uh, with her staff, great life and energy into the conservancy. And we're just, we're just moving forward <laughs> with new stuff every day. Um, every, every, occasionally the mayor, occasionally, the mayor emails me on weekends, uh, occasion, just occasionally. Uh, Mike, I went past, there was a tree that didn't look good in a park, or, I mean, no, I'm teasing a little bit, but, uh, like, there's this deep caring about the visitor amenities uh, that are alive in the park, how well we're functioning, and like th I know this, this concession. Until we got Cosmic uh, Cafe up and running, the mayor was make it, letting me know we had to get that concession up and running uh, before uh, last spring when we, when we we did. Thank goodness. But um, there's this concern that the, the mayor has uh, for not only uh, cares about the green works and cares about green plan and and, and leads in that realm but really cares about the day-to-day -day experience of citizens um, in our park and recreation system. So uh, that's leadership in my mind, caring about the policy, but caring about the day-to-day -day operation and putting your time and energy into it. And he's been a fabulous supporter of this concession, building our concessions, uh, building, bringing in businesses to the city, generating revenue and having it flow back uh, to the department to invest. And this money will be invested right here. The money that we generate will be invested in Schuylkill River Trail and the drives. 
So it really works. Uh, it moves money uh, back into the system in a very powerful way. So, uh, and that's what I call leadership. So please uh, join me in welcoming uh, sort of the number one cheerleader for the department and, and our mayor, Michael Nutter. Yes, yes, uh, I'll still be emailing them. Um, thank you uh, for, for uh, will fund rentals uh, for my uh, water bottle. Mike uh, D., thank you very, very much. Yes, I will continue to email you on the weekends uh, and uh, Monday through uh, Saturday uh, as well. Um, other than that, I won't bother you. Um, so this is, um, this is almost like a replay of yesterday um, and a replay of Saturday. And, I mean, it would just... Apparently, Parks and Recreation has uh, infiltrated the scheduling uh, operation and has taken over my schedule. I, apparently, every day I'm doing something with uh, Parks and Recreation. It's just it's amazing. Um, we uh, we were all a bunch of us uh, were just together yesterday at uh, Crescent Park, uh, Lower School Kill. I see uh, uh, Joe Cernick uh, running around here somewhere and all the other folks. And then on Saturday, we were out at the lakes, uh, Centennial Lakes, uh, and then. Uh, my good friend Ad Diallo, uh wanted me to uh, to be sure to mention. I think I guess it was last week uh, at the circuit. Right. Uh, so who's getting all these naming rights uh, for all these uh, <laughs> different uh, different events? Uh, Joe Manko is here uh, with us, a tremendous uh, friend and environmentalist uh, in his in his own right. Joe, thank you very very much. Um, I like this uh, three tent operation. Everybody's uh, pretty much covered. And we got the trees and Cosmic Cafe. Thank you so much for being open. Cosmic, we love you. I'm coming over in a second to get something. Uh, Catherine Ott Lovell, uh, apparently um, maybe uh, living in the parks. Uh, we understand. That's apparently that's everywhere we see you. Mark Soto, Director of Operations for um, Wheel Fund Rentals. Uh, thank you uh, very, very much. Uh, Fuji in the house. I see the uh, I see the the breezer uh, bike over here, and then the, uh, whatever I don't know what that other one is. Uh, how, what's it called? Sanibel. Sanibel. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kune. Thank you, sir. Very very much. Give uh, give uh, Fuji and uh, Advance uh, Advance Sports a big round of applause. Andrew Stober is supposed to be here, um, but apparently is not. So I will not give him any kind of shout out, <laughs> other than to recognize the fact that he's not here. Uh, Patrick Morgan, uh, bad staff work. Bad staff work. Uh, you know, Philly is a serious town of cyclists. Uh, it, we've enjoyed working with you, uh, Patrick. Um, it's it, it it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, see, Kathy Loney, she'll get you your boxes. Don't worry about it. Uh, Seriously, we're a big cycling town, and it's a uh, cycling is a robust uh, component of the community uh, here in Philadelphia, and certainly the Bicycle Coalition. We want to recognize them. Give the Bicycle Coalition a big, big round of applause. Um, we just had, of course, the uh, the big race uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, we expect in years to come uh, for it to be uh, even bigger and better. And you'll be hearing some stuff about that uh, in the future. I am most excited uh, to see all this activity. Uh, you know, I'm up and down uh, both of the drives on a on a regular basis, and uh, to see this uh, new uh, uh, office or kiosk. Or, well, it's a little bigger than the kiosk. So that that the hut, the shack, the <laughs> thing over there, um, and the one also off of uh, I guess that's uh, on the 16th Street side of uh, Love Park, uh, which I uh, saw just a couple of days ago, first wondering what in the world is that. Um, but then I realized that it was you guys, so I was very excited. Um, we want folks to be able to, uh, I mean, this is really just about fun uh, and having a good time. Uh, of course, uh, they've uniquely named themselves Wheel Fun uh, Rentals. Uh, they did not get that idea from me. Um, Folks on these river drives, in our open space, having a good time. Uh, we try to, you know, hold back on the rain and all that that may cut into things a little bit uh, here today. But uh, when people come here, uh, we want them to be able to have fun. Uh, and uh, getting around on one of these bikes or, you know, one of these uh, machines. Uh, well, yeah, my notes say that we're going to ride one of those. Um, it's, you know, my staff is... My staff is full of fun and jokes and all kinds of stuff, so it actually says down the bottom, after speaking, you and Mike D will ride a, what is it, a survey? 
Surrey. Surrey, up and down the sidewalk in front of Boathouse Row. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, so <laughs> we want to encourage all Philadelphians and uh, folks who come here and visit, uh, get out on a bike. See what this city really has to offer. It's one of the most bike-friendly towns uh, in, uh, in America. Cycling, of course, offers a lot of uh, benefits and a quick and efficient way to run light errands. Uh, or, you know, you can even put your, like, groceries and stuff uh, in the uh, in the basket. Much easier to find a parking space, let me assure you. And you don't have to feed the meter with your bike. It's a great way to tour the city. Uh, and uh, do you? No, right. I didn't think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very cute. Um, it's just a fantastic way to experience uh, the city of Philadelphia. And so uh, we're constantly uh, adding more bike lanes. We're adding more uh, bike racks uh, and uh, expanding uh, that network. And that's what, again, our trail system and our roadways are really all about. Uh, Parks and Recreation, the Philadelphia Conservancy, all these groups and organizations working together uh, makes, it, uh, makes it really happen. But uh, Wheel Fund Rentals uh, also really gives back uh, to the community. They're actively involved with young people uh, in Philadelphia. These partnerships and the Neighborhood Bike Works. Uh, give it up for Neighborhood Bike Works. And thank you. Uh, the Philadelphia City Rowing Program, which also uh, happens up and down uh, the drive here. Give it up for them uh, as well. So, I mean, there's really something for everyone uh, here uh, in this city. And it's really all about physical activity. It's about having fun. We want young people and those who are young at heart to have a fun, safe Philly summer. You can get more information about that at www.phila.gov slash youth programs. Uh, no one should be bored this summer. Thousands of slots through parks, through recreation, through the libraries, through uh, all of our uh, various systems. All swimming pools uh, open uh, this summer, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to a, a pool opening, I guess, in about 10 days or so. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, so that's, uh, that's all I have for you. And um, then we're going to... We got a couple gonna, more stories. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I know I'm not the, you know, the be-all and end-all of the <laughs> whole operation. So I'm going to take my water bottle and my little notes here. I'm going to go back over and stay on the side and try not to get wet. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as the mayor uh, indicated, that we have a location at Love Park where Will Fund will be uh, renting bikes up at the Bathy House at the end of the drive in here. So three locations um, ar around the park that you, people can rent bikes. Um, I think what attracted us to Will Fund is the quality of the operation, the professionalism of it, of the staff, the quality of of their bikes and the, the sort of the the look and feel of the operation and that means a lot uh, in a concession business it means a lot to us in trying to build quality so a um, big part of that was Mark Soto who is the director of operations at Wheel Fund. Mark uh, please join me in welcoming Mark to the podium. Uh, I'd like to um put something to the rest before I get started here. Despite what you might be thinking, and I know what my staff thinks, I'm not the little character up there on the logo. <laughs> Just to let you know. Uh, good morning, I'm Mark Soto, Director of Operations for Wheel Fund Rentals. And on behalf of everyone at Wheel Fund Rentals, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to our grand opening today here at Lloyd Hall in the great city of Philadelphia. I'd like to thank Mayor Nutter, Deputy Mayor Mike DiVardinas, and all of you here for coming out in the rain today to celebrate with us. We're excited to be part of the effort to bring a clean, healthy, and most importantly, fun form of alternative transportation to Philadelphia with two bicycle tours, a Segway tour, and bicycle rentals from three locations. We love being a part of Philadelphia, a very bicycle-friendly city. By doing our part to help reduce noise, congestion, and pollution, and help people get a closer look at all of the splendor and rich history this city has to offer. Wheel Fund Rentals has been bringing our unique products to millions of happy customers for many years now, but nowhere have we received such a positive, welcoming reception as we have right here in Philadelphia. <clears throat> there are so many people I could thank for making this happen, but I'd like to name a few people in particular who helped make Wheel Fund Rentals Philadelphia a success. 
I'd really like to thank the Parks and Recreation Department, including Mark Wilkin, Bob Allen, and Ed Fagan, among so many others for their tremendous support, long hours, and understanding, which enabled us to bring bicycle rental concessions to Lloyd Hall, Love Park, and the Bathy House or Trolley Car Cafe. Uh, the uh, folks at the Philadelphia Bike Coalition for supporting all things bike related. Catherine Ott Lovell and her amazing staff at the Fairmont Park Conservancy for putting together this fantastic event today. Aaron Deku and the folks at Neighborhood Bike Works for putting us in touch with some talented and very friendly young people who we brought onto our team as staff. The folks at Fuji Bikes and Advanced, uh, Advanced Sports for uh, bringing us some great product out here. It's been well received by all of our customers. They love the product. Thank you. And to the people of Philadelphia themselves for coming out here and enjoying a Surrey or bike ride along Kelly Drive, a Segway tour along Benjamin Franklin Parkway, or a self-guided bike tour from Love Park to Old City. It's our hope to continue to add other Wheel Fund rentals outlets in and around Philadelphia so people of all ages can come out enjoy some green transportation in this beautiful and historic city and have a wheel fun time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. And you've heard a lot about the Neighborhood Bike Works and all the work they've done in promoting biking in the city. And here with us today is the Executive Director, Aaron Deku. Aaron. Well, thank you for inviting me out to speak with you and to enjoy this grand opening, even though it's raining out today. It's always nice to be out on the Schuylkill River here. Thank you, Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Mr. Soto, and everybody from the Fairmount Park Conservancy. I'm with Neighborhood Bike Works. We're a nonprofit here in Philly. We work with youth, and we get youth excited about biking. We teach them the basics of bike mechanics, and we work with them over a series of years, really. We, kinda, we start them out with a program called Earn a Bike, where we're teaching them about how bikes work, how to build bikes, and, uh, and we actually get them out riding bikes a lot of times for the first time. So we take them out on field trips, we go down to Old City from our different sites. We have two sites in West Philly, one in North Philly. And whether we're taking them out to Old City or to museums or along the Schuylkill River Trail, it's all about creating that positive first experience of cycling in the city for our youth. So we work with youth as young as 8 years old all the way up to 18 year olds. And I really see what Wheel Fun Rentals is doing is very similar to what we're doing. It's all about inspiring people to come out and enjoy all of these gems we have in the city, especially this river. It's one of my favorite things to do on a weekend, to come out here and experience a little bit of nature right in our city. We're really lucky to have it. And, uh, and it's exciting that Wheel Fun is able to share that with people who might otherwise not be able to enjoy it. So that's one reason I'm really excited to be here. I think it's just all about inspiring people to get out on a bike and, uh, and explore our city a little bit more. And the second reason I'm really excited is just because of what Wheel Fun is doing to help our youth, actually, to kind of carry them through our program and into the, into the real world. So some of our older youth who are working with us for several years, we're working with them on really job skills. We're doing career building training with them, teaching them about accountability and responsibility. And then we're lucky enough to have places like Wheel Fun Rentals that can take them and give them their first job, really work with them to develop their, their job skills even, even more. So we have a couple of youth who are out here this summer working with Wheel Fun Rentals, and, uh, and they're really enjoying it, and we're hoping to send more over here this summer as well. So that's really exciting to me, um, and I hope to see more of those kinds of partnerships continue at the Fairmount Park Conservancy as well. And to me, the opening of Wheel Fun Rentals is not just about a couple of wheels that you can borrow for the weekend. It's really, um, I think, a symbol of growth for our city. It's about job opportunities. It's about opening up the city to all kinds of um, enjoyment and transportation. So thanks again for including me, and uh, I'm excited to see what happens with Wheel Fun. It looks like it's spreading all over the city as well. Thanks. <laughs> it's officially open. <laughs> Okay.
Bye.